Hello, welcome to the world's most random video that I probably could have made. So today is, I don't know what the day is, I think it's on, we're on Tuesday 21st of April. This is a box that has arrived in my possession since Friday, I don't know if that was 17th, I don't know. So we're here in my shop, I know, nobody has seen my shop and this is like the smallest section of my shop ever. I know I get a lot of questions pretty much daily, um, a lot of requests saying, you know, please show us your shop, show us round, what's it like? I will do that. I'm just not going to do it yet. I'm going to do it in a few weeks. And the reasons why will become apparent at the time, if that makes sense. I'm not going to say anything more, but I'll leave it at that. So anyway, we are in my shop. I have just come from my flat where I've just filmed what you're now seeing is last Tuesday's video, so I'm very, very tired. So I'm going to make this one pretty quick. I have inside this box, I have a rather large grow light. This is not like a domestic grow light. This is a commercial grow light that I use or will be using for the shop. So I already have two grow lights running in here, two really quite large ones running. They're okay. I think they are around about, are they 600 watts? So they, they kind of glug power a little bit. They're LED. They are a little bit noisy because they have a fan in them. And they're also that really kind of ugly pink magenta color that a lot of people tend not to like in grow lights. And I know I don't. Grow lights that are that color for me, I find it really annoying. I find I can't see the foliage properly. I find it's harder to inspect for problems, pests, anything. Generally, it's just an annoying ass light. So I did need some more grow lights, so I bought some more. But when I was going to purchase some more, I thought, right, I need to do a little bit of research and find out what's out there so I can get the best thing. And that's what's in this box. These lights are a lot cooler and I'm just going to tell you why once I've unboxed it. There should just be one light in this box. It's very heavy so I'm going to do my best. I'm probably going to try and plug it in as well just so you can see what it's like. Oh I've got it written down actually what those lights are. The lights above me that are not on so you can't see them. They are Viper Spectra Grow Lights. That's what I have running right now except they're not running right now. They're off but that's what I have now. The new lights are called the Telos 10 Pro and I think they're around about 285 watts so they're much more efficient. But again, I'll get into them as soon as I unbox them. This video, by the way, is not sponsored at all. I bought these with my own money. I just thought I'd let everyone know that because it's normally someone that's very quick to say, oh, but are you sponsored? It's like, no, 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 no. I have absolutely nothing to do with this company. I am just a customer of their grow lights. So let's have a little look. As I say, this is going to be a very short video. This is not a long one. I'm very sorry, guys. I'm just a busy lady. You gotta trust me on that. I'm a very busy lady these days. I think for a lot of people with the current situation, you know, a lot of things have slowed down for them. I can't honestly say that that's happened for me. So I'm very, very busy. Hence, I've just, I've, I've done nothing but work since about 6am and I'm still going. And I haven't even had breakfast today. And I think it's around about half past eight, nine o'clock at night. So I'm kind of dying. So if I seem like I'm just being a little bit more to the point, that's probably why. I've just, I've got a headache. And I think this grow light is about to make that 10 times worse. So I'm going to take out the air packaging in here because it's going to be very noisy and it's probably going to go straight down my lav mic and nobody wants that. So give me one moment. Ah, I forgot about this. So in addition to that, I actually have some feed for my lecker that has arrived. So I'm going to take those out. Those are in the same box. So I'll just put them to one side. That looks epic. This, the packaging on this, right, reminds me of when you buy like a graphics card for a computer or something and they always have that really over the top branding on the front of it and all the imagery. I'll probably try and zoom in on this in post because I can't really move right now, but that's what it looks like. It looks hardcore, like really, really hardcore. This is probably going to be a little bit heavy, so I'm just going to do my best to get it out of the box and I'm a bit of a weakling, so judge me if you if you want to do that. Let's try and get this out. Let's hope I don't break a nail. We really don't break a nail. I've already broken like five in a week. <laughs> <laughs> try and move this out of frame so it doesn't annoy anybody. Does it have the weight of this? Because this is hardcore. It doesn't say anywhere on the box what the weight is. Uh, oh, it's 10 kilograms. Oh, well, shit, that makes me feel pretty weak. <laughs> right, so I'm going to unbox this. It's going to be very simple because it is what it is. It's a grow light. Oh my god. This is going to be a beast. Let me tell you, this is going to be a beast. Just 
pick it up the best I can. Oh my God, that's so heavy. Okay. So let's put that there. And I can tell you all about this grow light. So this is my grow light. And as I mentioned before, the ones up there on the ceiling right now are 600 watt. They have a fan in them. They're not amazing. They're okay. It's just old technology and they are magenta. These ones are white and they are so bright. It's really quite incredible. If I'm honest, these are really, really bright. So the cool thing about this is as well, these here, these panels are modular, which means that if the company that I bought these lights from happened to bring out something just a little bit better, a little bit newer, whatever have you, if I want to replace or I want to like upgrade my lights, all I have to do is buy these panels. So I don't have to buy this massive, you know, unit that you see here. I just upgrade the panels. So that's really awesome. So I think what we should probably do is turn it on. Hopefully it won't blind me, but I mean, it, it's going to, isn't it? It's probably going to blind you guys as well. So let's just see. These are the clips to hang it from, well, ceilings, etc. Oh, the beam angle is 88 degrees. So they're pretty wide. They have a much better range than the ones I currently have. That is for sure. It is absolutely boiling in this office right now by the way because i've had my grow lights on here all day while i haven't been here and i think i think i looked at a hygrometer before and i'm pretty sure it said it was 20 26 degrees in here which seems fine but i'm in like a super warm you know tracksuit with a full face of makeup on i'm not feeling great i'm not gonna lie to you let me just pop this in here like that i think the best thing to do is just plug this in but this is probably gonna be quite bright now I have two soft boxes on and I have all the lights on in the room except from the old grow lights. And that accounts to about, I think it's nine panels of kind of office lighting above me. Cause I'm kind of in an office right now. Hence a lot of time I call it an office rather than a shop, even though it's kind of both. So I'm just gonna plug this in. We'll see what happens. Oh my. <laughs> Should I flip it back over? That's fucking crazy. Oh my god oh my god oh my god that is like full on let's get a tan oh my god let's just like turn it to the side because that's it's actually a little bit crazy so that's my fucking light guys actually there are a couple of things i may as well show you because we're in my shop right and i've got access to like all the plants that are in here so i might actually show you some stuff let me just turn this light off let me show you some of the cool things in my shop that i have where's my massive crystallinum yeah look at this guy right I know we've like, we've left the grow light kind of chat, the grow light moment that we're having right now. Look at this guy. Seriously, look at this guy. Look at this guy. If you've watched my how to rehab plants after shipping video, I do mention at some point like crystallinum, this is anthurium crystallinum. It comes into my shop and it's, it doesn't come great and it kind of can die back and then it has to regrow. And I did say like, you know, if you regrow your plants, it'll be totally worth it when you get the growth. This shit is what I'm on about. Because this leaf here is literally three times the size of leaves that I imported these plants with. And I don't know how that's even possible because I'm growing these in the UK and it's just, it's obviously not the conditions that they've come from. But this is what I'm kind of talking about, guys. This is beautiful. It's immaculate. You can tell it's grown in here. It's a beautiful leaf, really, really beautiful. So if you just love these plants, you know, they, they will love you back kind of thing. Just be patient with them. I do have another one to show you actually. Let me get on my feet. Where did he go? I think he was here. What else have I got to show you? Same rule applies, okay? With this beautiful lady. Check her out, seriously. So she came to me with leaves kind of like this and obviously it came it didn't arrive brilliantly whatever have you this leaf has grown here in the office and it's grown like from that leaf being the previous leaf and look at the size of that look at that look at this shit i'm able to grow in here this is absolutely brilliant i'm so pleased with this honestly the grow lights coming are just going to make this shit even better like i'm so excited about this let me just put this back because it's probably going to water all over me as well what else have i got to show you Oh, I'll show you this because this is interesting, okay? So this bad boy was imported as a philodendron El Choco Red. Now, you know I sell these in my shop, in this shop. Um, but this one is just not that. It's just not that. It came in with a batch of them and it's clearly different. Honestly, it's just not the same plant. There is no way it's the same plant. This is it here. That's one leaf. That's the back of it. Another leaf that's the back of it it's that's not the same plant at all but i love it and because it doesn't match 
you know, the plants that I list on my website, this is therefore mine. So I'm keeping it here for now until I figure out kind of what I want to do with it. I might just keep it here to grow. It's growing so well here. That leaf has emerged since being in this shop. So it's really cool because normally when you import plants in, you import them and they come like this. And then the leaves that you get in your environment are much smaller. But that just hasn't happened. So I'm like, I'm just so ecstatic about all this. Honestly, honestly, it's brilliant. Um... I've got little pink princesses growing. I have a lot of variegated monstera. Here's some Amidria medium here. I don't know if you can see that at all where my hand is. Probably a shit ton of Gloriosum. Like it's actually becoming a weed in here. There's so much of it. This is the most random thing ever. And I didn't really need to do this, but I did this. When did I do this? I think I did this maybe October time, something like that. So this is Philodendron Thai Sunrise. Um, it's coming onto the market a little bit more this year, but I happened to have like a random plant in my office last year. And it was really leggy and just a bit shit. So I actually cut it all the way down and that's the, the resulting, you know, growth back from it. But I also propagated it. And the cool thing about this plant is I'm pretty sure when they are cut, they kind of revert, but they don't revert back to green. They revert back to like the neon version. So this is kind of the neon version in little cuttings that I've been propagating. I know it's like the most random thing, but it's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I quite like this. I want to grow this out a little bit more. It's got plenty of time to grow, so we'll see what happens. These are still on little node cuttings. I can pull, pick them up there like that. That's still on a node cutting. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with them as well. I don't know if anybody would be interested in stuff like this. Like, they're not, you know, the green and the lime. They're just the lime. But I'm going to grow them out and see. Because why not? They're not taking up any space, right? So... It's all good. I'll show you one more plant before I go because honestly I could do this all day and I could show you like every plant in this shop and I know that a lot of you would love that but honestly <laughs> I've been up since 6am, I'm practically sweating and I need to have breakfast before I go to bed. So I'm going to show you this last one and you guys will probably remember this from my um, international Aroid show haul last year. Like I know that no one's seen this in my house, but that's because it's not in my house. It's been growing here. So it's grown pretty well, actually. These are all the new leaves. That's the newest leaf right there. Sorry, this is Philodendron Jose Bono, also known as Philodendron Imbe or Imbe or I don't actually know how you pronounce that. That's what that is. That's the one I got from the Arid Show. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. It does need a little bit of a groom, but for now, it's fine. It's just grown away. I may actually cut, I don't know if you can see, I may actually cut this and then reroute it so it's just a little bit slimmer and then I can propagate from this one and this can be the mother plant. I haven't really decided but I did already take one cutting from it as it happens and that's this one here and I left on this big leaf <laughs> because obviously energy for it to grow. You know if I was ever to sell this it's highly likely I would take that off but this is another one from the same mother that's growing now like so. So that's looking really cute as well. They're looking really nice and plump under these lights. But that is it. That is all I kind of wanted to show you today. I'm sorry that's a bit garbled, it's a bit long but it's just kind of like it's just the shit that I end up doing. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it, this is what happens. This is a typical small portion of a day for me. So um, I'll let you know how these lights do. As I say, I can't, like, I, I can't speak for them in a context of like a domestic grow light because that's not what these are. You see what I'm saying? These are commercial grow lights. So if, you, if, you, if you're interested about them, let me know. Um, but I imagine that you aren't and that's okay because they're not designed for houses, they're designed for, you know, nurseries, large scale growing. So I'm probably going to go now because my head is killing and looking at these lights is kind of killing me. But this is a little snapshot of my shop. Um, you will see my full shop probably maybe in, a, in the next few weeks. We shall see. I will not say any more than that. Um, and I guess I'll see you on Friday. Sorry for the randomness. Um, this is just kind of what I get up to. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about that amazing Queen Anthurium because I really want to take that home so bad. Um, and I guess I will, I will see you on Friday. <laughs> Bye guys.